Hello everybody, this is Scott. I am back with another video. This one will be doing another quick review of Hitman Pro. In my last one, I reviewed Hitman Pro, Pro 3.7.1. And now I'm reviewing Hitman Pro 3.7.3. There have been some changes. Uh, their engines right here. Icarus, G Data, Bit Defender. Big, big named engines. And we're going to be seeing if they truly have improved as much as they've... Uh, said so what we're gonna do quickly is I'm gonna go in and configure the scan for my I don't need that I need advanced I don't understand why I don't need that right there proxy license don't have a license and I think I've already got it you wanna have all these you don't need to scan for the cookies I guess you want to if you could. And uh, let's just have it run a little, qu little quick scan, default scan. And next, one, one time scan, and it's gonna scan the computer. Uh, Hitman Pro, in short, is a uh, cloud and secondary malware scanner that uh, runs off multiple engines, and is quite different compared to other ones that you'd expect. It only, tr it truly only works with internet access, but it also works sh in a stranger way. What Hitman Pro does is it ha scans all the files that miss that are suspicious or infected. And since I don't actually own this, it's going to go after the most important files that are most common. And then if it finds anything that they find suspicious but can't identify, it goes up to the cloud and then it's analyzed real quick and it, they send from it, send the information back. Well, Hitman Pro takes it a little bit further with their multi-antivirus uh, engine. Now, while generally you should pay for this product, uh, you can get it, uh, you can just continuously run the one-time scan, but it will never be as effective as actually paying for it. And the thing that you'll learn very quickly about this thing is it's very, very powerful. A lot of people think that Malwarebytes is the best secondary scanner on the market. That is true. Malwarebytes is one of the best secondary scanners on the market. However, Hitman Pro uses more engines, and in theory, more engines would give you better detection rate compared to Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes you can get for free. This one you run one-time scans free. It all depends on how you look at it. This one I like because it scans fast. While it doesn't scan everything, it gives me a good idea of what's actually going on with my computer. And then I'm able to judge from there what it actions I should take to eliminate further infection. So as we're almost finished, uh, Hitman Pro does a very nice quick scan. We will know we will notice one thing. It's got the little icon down here. Now some people think, oh well, then it obviously is installed in the computer. Well, me currently I don't have it installed. You run it from the uh, one-time use, and boom. It goes, it creates some temp files, logs, and then it's done. Super fast, super easy to use. It's found 44 tracking cookies, all for Chrome. Yep. From various ad agencies, they're not bad. Tracking cookies are no real threat to the system. And this is actually a very quick scan. So truly, if you are if you are looking for a secondary malware scanner because you feel like your system's infected with like a Trojan or a, what, no matter what it is, use Malwarebytes and use Hitman Pro. Compare the difference. If Malwarebytes doesn't pick it up, Hitman Pro will probably get it. Very rarely have I seen cases where, if, where Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro have failed to find the problem. It is possible though, so I'm... I get, oh wait, one item, one is pending. Wonder what this means. Did it find something? Yeah, I don't know. Oh my God, is it really doing this? Okay, so. Okay, there we go. It uploaded the file that I didn't know, and now I can just click next. I should. I don't want to. Uh, lie to all. Ignore. You want to do that if you don't want to get rid of the cookies. I don't really care. And bam. Scan 1 million registry items. Scan 400,000 files. 
remnant files uh, scanned a total of 1 million items and it found 44 threats. So in my opinion, uh, you should use Hitman Pro uh, once a day or even weekly, once a day to once a week. It'll keep your computer clean. It's got a nice free little scan. And while it is less known, it's actually one of the better scanners on the market. So give it a shot. Let me know your experiences with it. If you have any questions about Hitman Pro, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. So, and after that, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for another video. And I hope you give Hitman Pro a try. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.